welcome to chemistry lover and today in this video i am not going to teach you any topic but rather i am going to discuss about a very important point uh, that why you are still not qualified the csi net exam why it is very hard for you to qualify the csi net exam so uh, i will give my opinion you may or may not uh, agree with me but but that doesn't matter but it is true and uh, I will tell you that why I am saying so. The first point is nowadays people think that uh, by solving some questions, by collecting some study material, some notes, they can qualify the net exam. To some extent this is true, you can qualify the exam but it is much difficult to do that, right? So learning concepts from books, by reading books, this is the most easiest and most efficient way to learn any subject and if you have a proper knowledge of any particular subject to crack any competitive exam it is not a difficult task so if you have proper knowledge of a particular subject then you can solve questions and you can qualify exam but if you have if you don't have any knowledge of that particular subject if you don't know the subject deeply and you just try to solve questions and qualify some competitive exam that is not going to be fruitful for you right so you will fail and lot of people ask me that what should i do i uh, appeared for the exam two times three times every time i got around 70 80 marks i am not qualifying the exam what should i do the answer is simple you don't have proper knowledge of the subject you don't understand the subject properly you just try to qualify the exam by collecting notes and study material and this is not going to help you believe me so this is one point the second point is I make videos in English and people uh, people comment that you should make videos in Hindi now my English is not very good I know that and many people commented that your English is not good blah 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 I don't care about that I am teaching you chemistry if you understand my things if you understand chemistry that is the success for me I don't have to be genius in English to teach you chemistry right so now but uh, people who don't understand this simple uh, language of English uh, in which I teach this is not going to help you because uh, most of the good books which are available in the market they are almost 99% I can say in English now if you are not good in English if you can't understand the English language then how can you read the books so this is one of the reasons why you avoid uh, reading books right but in future it will not be it will uh, in future it is not going to be helpful for you so uh, you have to work on your english so that you can understand at least the basics you can understand something when it is taught in english so this is very important for you now you can see this is the book peter sykes many of you haven't read it yet but this is the book which you have to read from the first year of bsc this is the bible of organic chemistry right but its language is not easy it is quite difficult language and you have you will have difficulty while reading it now if you're not good in english if you're not at least you don't have basics of english then you cannot understand the book so this is why you need to work on your english and you need to uh, listen more to the english lectures right so that is going to help you now the last point which i am going to say is that again you have to read books you have to read more books before you uh, attempt to solve any questions or any uh, or relying on any study material so coaching centers will provide you a study material a bunch of question papers but that is going to help you only when you have proper knowledge of that subject you read from books if you read enough books good books i suggested lot of books I don't know why you are not considering that if you read those books you will have proper knowledge of that subject and then it will be much easier for you to crack any competitive exam so uh, what I will tell you is that don't rely too much on any coaching centers study material or question papers or something like that first uh, make a clear vision of a particular subject first, first clear your understand clear the topic from books and then go for uh, the study materials the question papers or something like that so uh, this is the thing and uh, try to listen more english lectures not in chemistry you will have a lot of other 
lectures from uh, eminent professors from different institutes you will get uh, lectures of uh, lectures of professors from mit harvard their professors in the youtube you will get a lot of things and if you if you understand the english lectures that it will be much easier for you to understand any topic because most of the content in science although it is sad uh, we should have proper resource in our mother tongue but what can we do right now it is not available for us so we have to rely on english and that's why we we should have we should make a habit of listening to english lectures because this is going to help us because we will get more uh, more resources in english right and another th thing is after qualifying net what you will do you will join in phd right so in phd you have to uh, read a lot of research papers and all these re research articles are published in english language so if you don't understand by reading a english line then how can you uh, read those research papers so this is very important to understand english language uh, to understand today's science and that's why i will encourage you to listen to more english lectures listen to uh, re uh, to read books in english uh, that is going to help you in long term and that's all uh, best wishes for you and thank you for watching